Great, start standing for your practice today. Samastitihi, feet slightly wider than just right under your hips. So the outer hips, maybe even the sit bones. That's a little closer, outer hips be a little wider. So take the feet as far apart as you need to feel comfortable and solid in your stance because we're gonna move here and warm up. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. From your belly in and up. And press down through your center heels as you exhale. And we're gonna twist. So I'm gonna take my right hand over and behind, left hand in front and around, and twist. Keep pushing down through the center heels. Inhale, release. Exhale, go the opposite way, left hand behind to the outer right hip, right hand across the outer left hip. And inhale, untwist. Pull your left hand up towards your armpit as you stretch your right hand down and exhale. So your right hand stretches down your right leg. And inhale back up. Second side. Pull your right hand up towards your right armpit as you stretch your left hand down. Exhale, press into those heels. And inhale. Return to stand. Exhale. Reach your arms up, inhale. Forward bend, exhale. You can grab opposite elbows here. Bend in the knees to help alleviate the low back sensitivity there. And just hang, sway a little side to side, forward and back. With each breath, notice if there's any releasing of tension, softening into the pose. And maybe even the opposite of that, grounding, rooting, and strengthening. And um, you know, firing up the pose a little bit, firming it up. All right, take your hands down to the floor. Step your left leg back. Inhale, lunge on your fingers here. Exhale, lower that left knee down and step right back into table. Inhale and table, open your chest. And exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips, press up, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Couple breaths here, you could lift your heels. You can lift your hips and drive your arms forward. Strong right and left thigh evenly. Strong right and left arm equally. And then lunge forward with your left leg. Inhale, open your chest here. Exhale, step all the way up with your right foot. Uttanasana, forward bend. Inhale, press into the center of those heels. Use your back muscles to reach up. Exhale, samastitihi. We're gonna to twist to the right again. Left hand over to the right hip, right hand around behind the left waist or hip. Exhale, twist. Inhale as you untwist. And second side. Right hand, left hip, left hand around behind. Inhale and exhale. Pushing into the center of your heels equally. Inhale to untwist. Exhale, standing pose. Pull your left hand up, right hand stretches down. And up to stand, inhale. And exhale, left side. Squeezing the left oblique, stretching the right side. Push into your left foot, right foot, and stretch your left hand down. And inhale, stand. 
reach up, next inhale, forward bend, exhale, Uttanasana. Again, grab opposite elbows here. Sway a little front to back now. Feel more of your weight being supported in the balls of your feet. The thighs are engaged to keep you from falling over. And the hamstrings, while they're being stretched, there's a slight engagement to also help to keep you from falling over. Okay, right foot's gonna step back this time. You're gonna lunge, inhale. This time, lower your right knee down, exhale. And reach your arms up, inhale. Take your hands back down, exhale, table. Plant your palms. Inhale, open your chest. Tuck your toes, exhale, lift your hips. Keep your back long and sink the chest down and back towards your thighs. You can drive the heels down as long as it doesn't lower um, or round the low back. So as long as you don't feel a tucking in your low back when you drive the heels down, lift your hips up. Right foot steps forward, lunge, inhale. Lower your left knee, exhale. Inhale, sweep your arms up, Anjaneyasan, low lunge. Exhale, take your hands to the floor and step forward. Forward bend, Uttanasan. Inhale, reach up, all the way up. Samastitihi, exhale. Bend your knees, fierce pose, inhale. And then as you take your hands down, forward bend, straighten your legs, exhale. Step your left foot back, keep your left heel lifted, high lunge, inhale. Exhale here, soften your shoulders, squeeze your left glutes, and push down into your center right heel. One more inhale. And take your hands down and step forward, exhale. Bend your knees, inhale, fierce pose. Stand, exhale, samastitihi. Inhale, rebend your knees, reach your arms again. Hands down, exhale, straighten your legs, forward bend. Right leg back, right heel stays lifted. Push straight down into your left heel. Squeeze your right glutes. Inhale, reach your arms as your shoulders sink down into the, uh, the shoulder joint. Stretch up through your fingers. Stretch up through your right heel. Squeeze your right calf muscles, glutes, and thigh muscles. One more inhale. And exhale, stepping to the top. Forward bend, Uttanasana. Inhale, bend those knees, reach your arms, press down into your heels, release your arms down, straighten your legs, standing pose. Step your left leg back, keep your left heel lifted again, this high lunge. Take your arms up, inhale. And stay here, or if you can, start to turn your left heel down and let your left hip open out slightly, firing up that left thigh even more, but this time stretching out the calf muscles instead of working. And then you can take your hands wherever you want so they can come to your shoulders, to your heart, your hips, even behind your back if you like. But lift your sternum straight up over the direction of that right big toe. In that same, ver in that same line, but then scoop it up to the ceiling. Sometimes it's nice to have left hand up and the right hand behind on the left thigh just to add in that torso turning forward. But don't let the torso over rotate. It stays straight forward. All right, and then take your hands back to neutral heart center. Go ahead and step back downward facing dog. Plant your palms, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. Lift your heels, lift your thigh bones, lift your kneecaps. Lift your back ribs, 
lift your sit bones. A lot of lifting. And push your arms forward. And drop your head. Walking up to your hands, forward bent, exhale. Inhale, Ord Vahastasan. Samastitihi. Exhale. And step your right foot back. High lunge, Ashta Chandrasan. Squeeze that right thigh and hamstring or calf muscles so the back of your right shin muscles squeeze to lift your right heel. Push down into your left heel and get your left shin vertical. Inhale. You could stay here or again, turn the right heel down and back. So you let your right hip open a little bit and feel that nice stretch on the outer right calf. Again, maybe you wanna take left hand over to the right thigh. Or hands to heart. Or hands behind your back for an interlacing. Keep bending your left knee forward and keep your left toes spread apart. Keep pressing down into the center of your left heel and from your left thigh muscles, the top thigh muscles push down. Okay, exhale, hands either into heart or forward and down. Step back, Adho Mukha, Svanasana, downward facing dog. Press into the balls of your feet and really lift your heels here and go for a big stretch. And then just walk up halfway, forward bend. And grab opposite elbows here, or you can hug behind your legs if you like. Okay, inhale, free your arms all the way up to standing pose. Turn around and face the center, or the long edge of your mat, standing in the center. Take your feet apart. Turn your right toes straight out and fan your toes down. Keep the right thigh externally rotating. Turn your left toes in and the left thigh internally rotates. So your hips are angled off to the corner of your mat. Inhale, lift your arms and open your chest as you stretch your right hand down. Left hand up, trikonasana, triangle pose. Keep squeezing the right thigh and keep pulling your right kneecap up. Soften your right shoulder. Pull your head out of the way so your chest can again stretch in the direction of your right big toe, but this time the, stretch is ro uh, the chest is rotating up to the ceiling instead of straight forward. Okay, inhale, slowly rise. Turn your right toes in as much as you can, and then your left toes out to keep the space, the length, and the trikonasana triangle. Left thigh again rotates out, right thigh, right thigh rotates in, angling those hips off, but then your torso rotates open in the opposite direction. Try not to open your hips here. Squeeze your triceps up to your arm bones, and then as you exhale, stretch down to the left shin, and then push into your left shin with your left hand. I squeeze my triceps too hard, cramping. Push back through that right heel and squeeze your right thigh. And then see if you can zip your chest forward by pulling your belly in and up and pushing your chest forward like a zipper action. Soften that left shoulder. So create a lot of space in your left shoulder joint so that there's, it's not pinched or collapsed up to your ears. And push into the floor, inhale, come up to stand. Turn your feet in, and we'll take a forward bend here. So all 10 of your toes point straight to the edge of your mat. Heels, the center of your heels drive down strong, the inner big toe mound and the outer pinky toe mound. So all of the surface area of your foot that's touching the floor is pushing down. And think, lean forward and push down more, lean forward, push down more, lean forward, push down and then your hands come down. This keeps your hips from moving back when you forward bend. And exhale, fold. 
can do whatever you want with your hands if they want to come out and relax. But try not to let your hips fall back and try not to let your knees collapse. So keep pushing into the floor to push your hips up higher and chest stretches down lower. Keep that press into the floor with your feet and try to lengthen your spine down. Your head might touch, it might not, it's fine if it doesn't. And if not, just have your hands on the floor here and maybe even walk your hands forward to alleviate the pull along the hamstrings and get this into those inner thighs. Okay, if you walked out, bring it back in so that you can push down into your heels and pull up to stand and then feet together. And you can step back up to the top of your mat. Standing pose. Move into a balancing posture here, take tree pose. The first option that I'd like to give you for tree pose is simply pulling your knee up to the ceiling. And so pulling your knee up, it's just a knee lift. Squeezing your right glutes and hamstrings, push down into the floor to extend your right hip and squeeze your left front thigh and front hip muscles as, long, as well as your low belly to lift your knee up to the ceiling. And your hands can go out heart, maybe even just gently help, but don't hold with your hands. Like maybe they're helping, giving it a little assist, but try to get more work in the front of that left hip. Then really feel the right glutes engage. And we're working on balance of the right leg. So if you have to help your left leg out more in order to get the right leg balance, fine. Because that's our first priority is the right leg balance. The left leg strength comes later. And then tree pose, you can take your foot to the front of your thigh and then turn your toes out and down towards the back of your right heel. Keep squeezing your right glutes and keep extending that right hip. Hands can reach, sometimes it's wobbly. Gaze right out past your nose to the wall or the floor. Squeeze both hip bones in, both front hip bones, and drop those left glutes down. Lift your right front hip up. Okay, release your hands, release your leg, and pedal out your feet if you need. Okay, and then we'll do the second side. Connect to the bottom of your left foot and start to push down into your left foot as you lift your right knee up. Pushing down into your left foot will engage your left glutes and the front, or the um, back of the left thigh to extend the front of the left thigh. Use the front right thigh and the hip to lift up the right knee and balance here. Again, you can help with your hands, strengthening the left standing leg. Also, put the foot on the front of the thigh if you want to add on to rickshawson, and then spin your inner heel forward, spin the toes back towards the left heel. Try to drop your right glutes and squeeze the outer hips in. So you're not really pushing into the foot, you're squeezing from the outer right hip, and that pushes the heel into the thigh. We don't want any misplaced energy, it'll knock you over. You can reach your arms up to the ceiling and keep a grip on the floor with your toes. That's what they're there for. Use them. Dig the floor if you need. I dug too much apparently. It's a windy day. If your tree falls over, that's fine. Just enjoy it. it happens. and then hands down, right leg down, and pedal out your legs. All right, and we're gonna come down to seated. So let's take a quick inhale, reach up. Just a quick stretch up, not a quick inhale. Nice slow inhale. Forward bend, exhale. That should feel good after that standing balancing pose because those muscles in the back were just working. So give them a moment to just kind of stretch out if you wanna pat them out a little bit. And then we'll come down to seated. We're gonna take this into reclining position, lower down all the way, and straighten out your right leg and keep your left knee bent. You can interlace your, interlace your fingers and squeeze your knuckles up towards your left knee and stay here, little half boat prep. You can stretch your arms forward and release the interlacing, and then you could lift the right leg, squeeze the right thigh though to lift the right leg. 
keep looking up past your knee or to your right toes. And keep lifting your head up. So kind of lift your low ribs up. Push down into your sacrum and your low back. Not jamming, just connecting to the floor, just like we do with the feet. It's your foundation, so you're connecting. And then lower down. Right foot comes in, left leg straight, uh, straightens out. All right, and then you can interlace your fingers and start to stretch your knuckles towards your right knee and stay there. You can release your hands and stretch your arms forward, not from your shoulders, from your arm muscles, tricep stretching your arms straight, and then you could lift that left leg. And lower down. Whew, a little bit of that goes a long way. Both feet to the floor. And just pause here for a few moments. Let your front body relax. Breathe in from your belly to expand and stretch out that area that just worked. So not moving into a back bend yet. We're going to, but first use your breath to stretch it out. See if you can get a three or a four count breath, and then maybe about a one or two count between each breaths. Next one, see if your exhale can be slightly longer than the inhale. and then let your breath fall back to its natural consistency, natural pace. All right, and then we'll come up, cross over the ankles, rock over, and come all the way down to your belly. Locust Po, Shalavasan. So for the first one, what we're gonna do is the hands come behind. If you're able to interlace your fingers, lift your thumbs off your sacrum and stay with your toes on the floor and just simply lift your chest. Soft bend in the elbows here. So you're actually pulling the triceps up to the ceiling this time and then press your chest through. If you want, you can lift your feet. And open your feet up as wide as you, as you need, it's fine. You can take your feet back down and then just kind of roll to the right and over and to the left and back through center. Lift higher with your arms and then lower down onto your forehead. With your arms stretching back, lift just your feet this time and maybe it's just one foot. And keep your shoulders open, even though your head's not up off the floor. And lower down that left foot if you're lifting one or the other, and then lift the other leg. And down, exhale. Hands under your forehead. And lift your feet, and then rock and roll side to side. Let's push up to kneeling pose. And then hands and knees, knees apart, big toes touch. Sit back, hips to heels, balasan, child's pose. So let's get back into that breath here. Focus on the inhale being about four counts, about a two count pause, and then the exhale about six counts, and then a two count pause.
Okay, let your breath come back to its natural pace. Maybe a quick sigh to let all that counting and holding go, which is really good for your respiratory system. So it's all good, but it's nice to let it fall back to natural. And you might even notice your natural pace is becoming slower after that exercise, which is good. That's what we want. We're going to come up to seated now. Janu Shirshasan, so you can come up to seated any way you'd like. Right leg out straight, left knee bent, and then take the left foot up inside of your right thigh. Point your left knee out behind you. Turn your chest over towards your right leg. You might even take your left hand to the outer right foot just to get that torso turn. So the twist is not happening in your lower belly, it's in your upper um, torso. And then exhale, fold out over your right leg. If you have a block or something that you could put under your head to help support the back, uh, to help support your head and, and get that back to feel a nice gentle stretch and pull. If you feel like you're overworking your back muscles here, you actually want them to be stretching and relaxing. So find something to rest on if you need a bolster or a pillow under your belly or your head. The work should be here in the left leg pressing out away from you and your right foot pressing out away from you. Left knee and right foot pointing away from each other. Okay, inhale, lift up. And take your left hand behind you, pointing the fingers to the back of your mat so you can pop up into a very modified wild thing here and just stretch out, open your chest. You can look up, you can hold the back of your head. And then lower back down. Take your left knee up and step outside of your right leg with your left foot, move into a twist. Right leg is strong, so the right foot pushes out. You can hug with your right arm and twist to your left, or you could hook with your right arm. Make sure it's not, if you're hooking, it's not pushing the shoulder forward. You wanna keep, I, I prefer the hug because then I can pull away and open my right collarbone and that pulling on the right arm on the left thigh pushes my chest through the shoulders and then I can open up from the upper back without any collapse or pinching. Push out through your right foot and stamp down on your left leg, left foot, pull your left thigh into your right ribs. Okay, inhale, release your twist. Straighten out your left leg, let's do the second side. Right foot comes up, open the right knee. And again, let your knee stretch back behind you. Let your hips open as much as you need. The torso is rotating over the left leg. Right hand can come to your left foot to help that rotation. You're extending your chest forward just for a moment. And, and actually that extension helps to lift your butt and not pull the tissue out, but release your sit bones back. So sometimes it's nice just to lift here and let the butt scooch back. And then you can forward bend and round out and support your head with anything that's helpful to give that back a vacation. Keep pressing the right knee away and the left foot forward and try to easily and gently stamp down the back of your left knee to the floor without lifting your left heel. Okay, inhale up, and then your right hand at the back of your mat facing away from you, fingertips facing away, pop up onto the right shin, lift your hips forward and up, look up, maybe support your head here if it feels like it needs the extra support. Lift your hips up to the ceiling, press into your right hand, right knee, and left foot. And lower back down, exhale. Take your right foot now and step over your left leg. Again, you're gonna hug with your left arm. 
and pull your left collarbone long so that the right collarbone can stretch in the opposite direction and your chest moves up through the center over the direction of the right hip crease. So the, where the right hip is pointing, send your chest in that direction and flex out through that left foot. So even if it's a point, whatever, just push out through that left foot. If, whether it's a dorsiflexion or plantar, it doesn't really matter, but push out through the left foot and stamp down on your right heel. Keep squeezing your right thigh in towards your left ribs, and then be careful not to overwork the right deltoids or the back shoulder muscles. Let the twist happen more from your spinal muscles rather than the leveraging muscles, the arms and the foot. So those are foundational, and those are structural um, strength points, not rotational strength points. That's from the inner muscles attached to the spine. Okay, and then as you inhale, release your twist. Right leg out. Exhale, forward fold. Both legs are straight out in front of you. Just a gentle awareness of the big toes not collapsing in. So you don't have to fight and overwork to get the big toes mounds to point straight forward. Just think about pulling the pinky toe side back a little bit more. And then again, just like we did in that previous pose, let your butt lift and push back behind you. And give, you give yourself more room to forward fold into your back here. Okay, inhale, come up. Come on down to the back side and stretch your legs out and relax your arms out to your side. Breathe here from your belly in and up. And exhale from your belly, soften out. Just let your natural breath carry you into relaxation posture. So your belly move at the beginning of each breath, inhale and exhale. All right, start to take your feet back up to the floor and the knees to the ceiling. You can open your eyelids here.
And take your arms back in next to your hips. And then just a nice little lift up. Inhale. And exhale, roll your arms and hips back down. Again, inhale, roll your hips and arms up. And exhale, roll back down. And one more. Inhale, roll your hips up. And exhale down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Apanasan. And then a twist to the right with your knees opening or dropping off to the right and your arms opening, rather. So knees dropping off to the right, arms opening out. Big inhale into that, big inhale into that left side um, back rib area. So the part that's floating off the floor. Breathe into that. And one more here. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, inhale, roll those ribs back over to the floor, and then let's come off to the other side. So take your legs off to the left, open your arms out to the side. Inhale into that right back rib section. Exhale. And one more here, inhale. And exhale. Okay, roll back over to your back, knees in. Big belly breath in and out. Okay, and then come up to seated when you're ready. You can rock up to seated. And as always, take a moment at the end of your physical mat practice to bow towards the beginning of the rest of your personal practice off your mat. Bow with gratitude, hope, optimism, and love. And thanks, yogis. <laughs>